my dad, the communist, took away and we killed, executed, like many other Cambodians. So my mom decided to uh, take a chance and bring the seven of uh, kids in my family to the uh, border of Cambodia and Thailand. And then several refugee camps later were, were uh, sponsored to come to the United States. Uh, with all the people's generosity and help, we were able to become successful in focusing on education and school. So pretty much all of us graduated from college and uh, found a job at uh, the Cambodian family in 1994. And about three years ago, you know, I was recruited to lead the organization. And so uh, after our executive director retired, so we help thousands of people find jobs. We help people prevent uh, health problem. We help kids achieve uh, great education and prevent them from joining gangs and going to negative activity. Close to 100% of our kids that participate in our program graduate from high school. And compared to the, uh, the kids in general in the neighborhood, that's, that's pretty impressive and we're proud of that. Of our, our clients is Latino and a third of our clients are Cambodian and about 20% is Vietnamese um, and then the others are refugees like Armenians. Russians and you know other groups. We help people become successful and then they come back and they help the next generation to do that and I think if we can do that continuously I, I think you know we should be proud of what we accomplished and we're fulfilling our mission.